Hello there, Matra Hill. Welcome back at 1680. It's a really long, breathy pause at the beginning of that episode. And I can afford some trade company investments, and maybe getting them wouldn't be the worst here. Before we begin the next bit, I just want to check all my trade companies. And I want to see if we're close at all to having merchants. So New Portugal will have one when they have three more cities. That's only 10. They have one. 25. That's pretty good. Oh, and 43. Oh my goodness. Bro, what's happening here? Let's get that local trade power going. Oh yeah. Oh, replace this company warehouse. What? Oh, I see. Austrian trade company provinces in South Connecticut, entire South Connecticut area. Okay, cool. Great. This is all one area. Hopefully... That should help. Obviously you can just keep doing more, can't you? God, look what goods produced. Great. Should that now get us what we need? 45 still, dude. Come on. Don't be like this. 1%. 10%. We need New Portugal. Oh, I completely forgot I took New Portugal. They're actually mine, aren't they? They actually have a number of claims. We need to declare war onto Louisiana for them. And then give it all to them. But gobbling up the new world. I guess we're going to have to shift like a 50 or 60k. How many men do they have? Let's take a look. Let's go by top. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. They're not even in the top 10. They haven't even got 80k. Newfoundland has 93,000. How the hell are these people raising enough money? Oh, because they control the entirety of Hudson Bay. No, no, they don't. They control this. They actually don't even control that much of it. Yeah, they have 13 colonies, but that's about it. What the hell's going on? Who knows? Okay, that needs to be taken. This needs to be taken. So Kenzie can now be pieced out. There's not really anything else here for me. By Circassia. It's just less to siege. We also have Luristania. But we haven't really had the opportunity to punish them yet. Wait. Go away. Squirt you a little squeezy bottle full of water. Leave me alone. And yeah, looking good, looking good. Finish that siege. Yeah, this is a question of now just kind of waiting. Oh, Siege of Volo. Oh dear. Not good. The only thing is, is the longer the UK war goes on, the less we will benefit because... If I'm right, yeah, they're just going to keep getting more war score from their new world possessions. Bribes growing more accepted. Oh, good. We are also manpower def deficient right now. Get rid of Ulauden, Diplo power, or stability. I will take the stability, thank you. Good. Decent conversions, Cushing. That's now our furthest east, I believe. Good. We have 125 of this. Still can't do the Proclaim Holy War, sadly. But we could gain more mercantilism and stability. The free stability button. button. So good. Uh, let's go this way. Now all the Lithuanians are coming down as well. The quarrelsome nobles of the Great Karoo. The 
come to resent ideals of nobility. They have lost influence and power in Vienna, but they still command considerable influence. Right. Well, gaining... Le I might as well just lose the absolute... Oh, that actually affects my max absolutism. I picked the wrong choice there then, didn't I? Fair enough, because it is actually quite important what you pick here in court and country. Oopsie daisy. Shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Okay, so... If my absolutism is at least 65, I get the 25... I get the 20 plus. If it's between 30 and 65, I only get the 10. So I have to get up to that. So I do have to constantly push. Oh, guys, because I've still got strong duchies. Supremacy of the crown and right of council. What am I doing? Right, strong duchies. The value of this is I get two extra relations. But, well, I guess that is probably the more useful one. Right, this is the one I want to go over at least. Good. There you are, go away. Right, there we go. Now we can have all the way up to 78. We'll summon the deer as well to make them not pissed off. Uh, Pure rebel control provinces. That's not happening, buddy. No, what do I need to do? Um... Katsukera. Trade company size is at least 10. I have 20 years to do it. Oh, just kill more and kill her. Oh, no problem with that. Let's get some claims on them then. Might as well make it a little bit cheaper if we can. We also are attempting to fabricate claims in the Congo. Only a couple more left. And over in Chimu, we have a number of points. Gonna cost a little bit more, but that's fine. Elderman Sword, plus three stability. Hey, Cody, how's it going, buddy? America is looking weird. I hate it. Uh, all you have to do now is just kind of get through the 10 years of court and country. And looking at England, we... Okay, so... Here's the thing. Okay, so my current ticking is pretty low. Right, so if I just... Wait, what? Oops, looking at the wrong one. It doesn't change my Diplo cost. Okay, what if I just get rid of all this? And just take it instead. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to do that then. It's actually cheaper for me to just give it to them. Whatever. But we're just going to feed Scotland like crazy, because I don't want to have to core all this. Thank you very much. Old school powner. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. I almost said your name very weirdly just then. Yeah, we're just going to give it all to them. Why not? There's not really much in terms of rebels here, which is nice. The small stack is sitting comfy here. And more rebels are darting around and being nuisances. All we gotta do is just kind of keep that down. Oh, we just got stack wiped in Wallow. Oh, wow, they actually did stack wipe us there. That was actually. Oh, no, they didn't stack wipe us. We're still alive. We're just not healthy. And it's because we have no manpower. Yeah, okay. I think we might need to get out of this war soon ish. Because we can't really do much, can we? Let's just give all of this to our pal. Oh, AQ, where are you? Recruiting crisis. No, don't, don't. Lose 55,000 manpower. Yeah, sure. From the zero. No problem. You know what? I You'll be doing me a favor. I do have to, I think I have to transfer something to someone, don't I? Turn a blind eye. Go away, nobility. No one cares. Okay. Can we peace out of this war? Oh, we can't actually afford it because of the loss of absolutism. Get out of here. But they need the mission, don't they? Let me check, let me check. 
There it is. Always forget where they are. Okay, so... That would be conquer Iraq. Ah, see, it doesn't actually matter because we we also need to get Ludistan anyhow. So no go there. And I'm surprised they're actually still able to do this. I guess there's even further claims on all the east. Oh, that's going to be nice. Okay, great. So for this one, they just need the rest of Ludistan. So yes, we can actually do this by separate piecing Ludistan. And having them annul their treaty with the Mamluks. And then waiting a day. And then taking that. Oh, never mind. I could have taken it all. Bother. Oh, bother. Because I didn't realize I still had this land in the south selected. Oh, well. That's fine. It's just another war we have to do. We have to do it anyway. So it's not a big deal. Just give it all to Syria. And then honestly, that might be the end of my Syrian friend. Good. Perfect. Boop. Now that is a nice big country. We have lost 314,000, of course, but that's okay. But my goodness, are they big now. What's, their, what's the highest force limits we actually contribute in terms of the troops? So Lithuania actually has 148. Byzantium almost 100, Spain 87. They're not even in the top 20. Jesus. They're together. I imagine because they're still growing. The Czech Revolt. Ah, there it is. Really wish I just waited for that. Could have got more. Could have got more. Okay, um, the Ottoman War is what's next, I think. We do have Morocco here. Can we just give this to Spain? I would quite like to just give it to Spain, please. Where is Spain? That's the question. Almost exactly halfway. Can't. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can, but it would cost me. Even though they're equal partners. Like, what? Oh, crap, dude. All right, what are we actually looking for in this war? I'm going to give that to the AQ, because the Byzantiums are kind of running out of usefulness to me. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's... God, it cost me so much. I guess they've been really devin this up, haven't they? Oops. Great. Hey, Undeniable Dwarf, how's it going? So we are going to have to just sit here for a little while again. While we wait for them to be done. Might as well just give them this entire little weird stretch. Though I don't need Albania, do I? I don't need this bloody place, do I? Let me check. I don't understand why it's not giving me the unofficial and unchangeable fate. It's really annoying. Like, it just doesn't really make any sense. I'm never going to be able to get AEIU. Push on Bulgaria. Uh, but I haven't finished the mission to defeat the Serbs because Visoki is not specifically owned by me. That's annoying. If I get that, I do get push on Bulgaria. And then I get Scourge of Europe. If they have lose all that. Which is actually missionary strength and diplomatic reputation for the rest of the game. Can I take Visoki from Ragusa? Can I? Yeah, this is the bad save game situation, exactly. Can I just... I can! Thanks. Didn't I could just do that. First, the independent Serbians in Bosnia to occupy a position of strategic importance, so I get rid of Greece. Flex our muscles, bring him in the empire. Ooh, baby, that's good. Okay. All we have to do is get all of this, and then we get push onto Bulgaria. And then we have to get that. 
Okay, that's just, that's just another Ottoman war, obviously. Okay, so we just have to hold out for a little bit. That's fine. I guess we just, like, separate piece Morocco. We start separate piecing everybody, basically. That's basically what we have to do. Uh... What's this? Undeniable Dwarf subscribed at tier 1. Second month. Thank you so much, buddy. I do appreciate that. Thank you for being a good streams. Thank you for choosing to subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Second month laughing face. Thanks for all the vids streams. I love that it just it actually says laughing face. I just that's ridiculous. Thanks, buddy. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I don't know why I said welcome, welcome. Welcome back, I guess. How does it work actually? Because I don't I don't really twitch sub to people except for, you know, my prime. Um, how does it work? Do you get told, hey, <laughs> laughing face, do you get told, hey, you need to resub this person, do it now, do it now, or does it just like a little flick up or what? Or does it do it automatically? I actually just don't know how it works. Ah, yes. Lose 20 army tradition and manpower, but I fight so much that I don't really care about it. So yes, I'll take the absolutism. What happens when you reach 30 subs? I have yet to decide what I want to do. So actually, I don't actually have 30 subs. That's 30 sub. Those are 25 sub points. I actually have 20 subs. But someone is subscribed at tier 3, which counts as 5 points. Um, I don't know. I need to decide what to do for, t for 30. It's my goal, but it doesn't have a specific goal. It doesn't have a specific reward yet. I need to decide. It's odd or you get a pop-up. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, I just got a Jewish spy master. I just got a Jewish spy master. That's interesting. Oh, is he, is he here? There he is. We rarely see a Jewish advisor, actually. Philip von Eschesi. He's got a goatee and a slicked back hair and an eye patch. That's just that is that is bitching. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, um, ooh, how's the British war doing? Looking good. So these guys are, ah, oh, they can't get up there. Got heavy. They're rude. Go get them, boys. Show them what's what. Fight them anyway. See how it goes. Can we, can we piece these guys out, please? They're really bothering me. Can we just make them go away? Let's see. This is going to win. Okay, they don't have a leader. That's helping a lot, I think. Are we actually going to beat... We did. We beat the UK in naval fights. That's that's amazing. That's never been done in the history of EU4. Ever. First time. World Conquest, basically. That's better than World Conquest, alright? That is. Let's get up here. Which means we can actually continue and take this war all the way into in India? No. Ireland. That's the name of the island. Is it Moon Conquest? That's right. We're going straight to the moon with no manpower whatsoever. Just just none. Literally no, no manpower. That, that's what makes it spicy. The Grain Coast. Does it produce grain? It doesn't. It produces dyes. Why is it called the Grain Coast? Grain Coastal Park. Okay, that's Rochester. That's not quite what I'm talking about. What What is this? I, I googled Af put Africa on it. It still didn't work. Austrian evil demons against the British seems legit. I know, right? Someone give me a suggestion of what I should do when I hit 30 subs. I haven't decided. Well, her points, I suppose. I think I, yeah, I literally only have a single tier three uh, who gets my special emote. I think it's cool. Oh, nice. They're doing that for me. Beautiful. Means we can knock them out. Anatomical theater. Keep that. Thank you. Quarrelsome nobles. Oh, dear. Hello, Kafelkso. Making OnlyFans. What is with the number of people who are making OnlyFans jokes? I've had a lot of people saying, like, what are you making an OnlyFans, Aldra? And I get it's meant to be a bit of a meme and, like, a half shredded compliment. But I've actually had a couple people who were actually a bit like, 
really insistent about it. And it's like more than one person. It's been on a stream and it was on a YouTube comment. I removed it. And it was like oddly insistent about the concept. And I was like, I know it's a joke because of the way it's phrased. But like, it's like a person had seen a joke before and has only now knows that joke. You could do a special brewing stream with an explanation of beers you did. Um, so that is actually something I would like to do. But the problem is, is that I'm not brewing for a couple weeks. Actually, yeah, I'm brewing in a couple weeks. Making money like a ton of it. Yeah, but I don't particularly enjoy selling my body. Yeah, no, no thanks. I did try. I did try being a prostitute for 17 years in, that, uh, in uh, a Thai slum. But I decided, nah. I'm going to go bro. I'm going to go bro. Bro. I'm going to go grow a beard and stream instead. Might I ask the origin of your name? Asks Fenrak. Um, yeah, sure, of course you may. Thank you for asking if you can ask. It's a rather polite thing to do. But to be honest, I don't really care. You can always ask whatevs uh, most of the time. Uh, I, my name is a made up name because I needed a name for a World of Warcraft character when I played it about a decade ago. God, more than a decade ago, 12, 15 years ago now. And I decided I was going to make an undead priest. I didn't get past level 20, but then I didn't really enjoy playing undead. And I couldn't think of a name, so my friend's name was uh, something Al, Al or something like that. I'm going to dox him. Well, I'm not going to dox his now non-existent WoW name. What's wrong with me? Uh, you know what? You're going to find the origin in the next episode. I'm already going over. I was Al Dragon TNTP, and you'll see me in the next episode. Bye. Yeah. Have to wait till next week.